Hey guys, what's up? Chris Zuper here. Uh, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Finally finished Kissing the Shadows. Let's look at part three right now. Once again, just to quickly reiterate, we're in D standard tuning, which is D, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself a tune, and we'll get started. Alright, so this uh, first section is obviously going to be very sweepy, very arpeggio-y. Let's have a look at the first one. I'm going to start with a pull-off between 24 and 19 of the first string. Then I hit 20 of the second, and then 21 of the third. And then I reverse back to 20 of the second and 19 of the first. And all the arpeggios are going to be following that kind of group of six with that double triplet. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So the first one is that. The next one's going to be a diminished arpeggio, working with another group of six, and that will continue on. I'm doing a pull off from 20 to 17 on the first string, and then I play 19 of the second and 20 of the third. And then just reverse back down again to the pointer. idea and then uh, okay so what we're doing here let's slide down in my head uh, we're doing a minor into a major so I'm doing a pull-off from 19 to 15 on the first string playing 17 to the second and then 16 of the third and I just reverse two notes from 17 of the second to 15 of the first okay then we've got the major from 17 to 14 on the first string as a pull-off and then I hit 15 of the second 14 of the third and I'll work, work my way back down, I'm hitting 15 of the second and then 14 of the first again. So we should have four arpeggios with six notes each now. Okay, we're going to follow that up by going back to this formation. I guess if we were in standard tuning, it would be an E minor kind of E minor idea there, but because we're in D, it will be uh, obviously D now. Uh, what I'm going to do is do that initial arpeggio that we had before again. We're going to do a pull off from 19 to 15 and then play 17 of the second and 16 of the third. But this time we take the arpeggio a little bit further. It goes to, I think, the second inversion, so the fifth of the root note of the arpeggio. So we've ended on 16 of the third thus far. We're now going to add 17 of the fourth and then a pull off from 19 to 14 at the end. So I'll do that all again slow for you guys. Okay, after I've pulled off to that 14, I'm going to hammer back into 19 and then work my way back down exactly the way I came. Okay, now as soon as we hit that 19 again, we're going to start another group of 6. So we're going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then... So what I'm doing here is just that minor arpeggio again, but we're just going to add that 19 note at the end of it. So it's going to go 19, 15, 17 of the second, 16 of the fourth, back down to 17 of the second and the 15 again, but this time I'm going to end on the 19. So that whole last enormous arpeggio, I'll do it again slower. Let's put the whole section together thus far now. The second lot of arpeggios is going to be very similar. We're going to keep the first four. Okay, but this time we're going to jump back a little bit further. We're going to do another major from 15 to 12 on the first string. And then I play 13 of the second and 12 of the third. And then after that, when I get back to the pinky, I do uh, sort of what would be, I guess, an E minor arpeggio with that sort of string skip idea. So what I'm doing on the second one is I'm doing a pull off from 15 to 12 on the first string, and then skipping to 16 of the third, pulling off to 12, and then hammering back to 16 again. And I jump back down to 12 of the first. 
So what I'm going to do is do, uh, I guess, what would be a C major into an E minor in standard tuning uh, back to back. Let's put that with the other four arpeggios. We should have six arpeggios now. Hopefully that makes sense. And then after that I've got... It's a big slide at the end of that diminished. So what I'm doing here is a diminished from 17th fret of the first. We should uh, be very friendly with this shape by now. Uh, if we've done a couple of sweepy things before. I'm doing 17 to 14 as a pull off, 16 to the second, and 17 to the third. And I work my way back down to 16 of the second and 14 of the first. And then what I do there, this is a very challenging slide, sliding from 17 to 23. So what I'll be trying to do is, as I'm doing that sweep, try to just estimate what's going to happen on your left hand. If you get used enough to what's going on there, you might need to keep an eye on it. Um, what I will be doing is looking at 23 so that I can land there as opposed to trying to move my head at the last minute and trying to visually see where I'm going. So do the sweep and then be looking at the 23 and uh, we just do that whole idea twice. So let's try that from the start now. Okay, the start of the third section is going to start on the offbeat so we're going to go one. Okay, so coming in after that offbeat, I'm going 17, 19, 20, 19, 17. So just working my way there and back on the second string. I'm going to jump to the first string and I play 19, 17, 15. So it'll go one. After that. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 22 to 19 on the first string and then 20 to 19 on the second. together thus far. Then I go up. So to sort of bend on 22 of the first and then sort of a quick double vibrato. One, two. It's all together. Okay, then after that we're working to this. Well, that little slidey thing I'm doing at the end is to compensate for my lame Lack of whammy, so if you guys have it, do, do your little whammy thing. Uh, if you're lame like me, uh, we'll just do a slide from 19 to 20 in a second, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's have a look at this. So this is kind of a bit pentatonic to start. I'm going from 24 to 19 on the second, and then 20, sorry, 24 to 19 on the first, and then 22 to 19 on the second. And then after that, I want to play 22 to 19 on the first string, and then 20 to 19 on the second string. So we're borrowing this shape again. So to go. One more time. Okay, then after that I want to go. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing 20 to 22 on the second string with my middle finger. You can use a pinky if you want, but I'm using my ring because it's a little snug over there. And then I play 19 of the first. I hit it again and then slide over to 22 and cut it off pretty quickly. And then after that back to 19. I play 19 and then 22 of the second and then 20 of the second string. So I go. So that little chunk there. Then after that I jump to 19 of the second string and then I pluck that on. I want to slide 19, 20, 19, 20 all in one pick just to sort of get that sort of cleaner, smoother sound then a kind of multiple picky thing. So we're going for like a smooth legato-ish sound. So let's put the whole section together a little slower. Okay, the last section is going to be very sort of straightforward shreddy diatonic uh, familiar shape ideas. So if we're in major, sorry, if we're in standard tuning, we'd just be looking at a G major kind of shred idea. So we're going to start from 15 of the sixth string, and I'm going to play 15, 17, 19, and also the same fretting for the fifth string. And then I jump to 14, sorry, 16 of the fourth string, and I play 16, 17, 19 there, 
and also 16, 17, 19 on the third string. Okay, now I'm going to repeat that 16, 17, 19 from the fourth string. So we're going to do the middle two strings twice on this. Okay, after that I jump to 17 to the second string and it goes 17, 19, 20 and also the same on the first. So we should kind of have, uh, I guess to a degree, eight triplets here. So across uh, so three note patterns, eight times. that I go over to 22 of the first string and I play 22, 20, 19 on the first string and also the same on the second. And then I bring my pointer back to 17. And then from there I want to jump to 20 of the second string and it's going to go 20, 19, 17 twice. So all together that last little chunk. Let's put that with the rest now. Okay, then after that I want to play 17, sorry, 19, 17, 16 on the third string twice. And then the same idea on the fourth string, 19, 17, 16 twice. And then I'm just going to resolve that on 19 to the fifth. So I'll go. Okay, all together from the start of this chunk of bass bar. a little bit more to it and then uh, that'll be the end of it. So I'm going to start from 15 on the 5th now and I'm going to go 15, 19, 17. That's a similar idea here. I'm going 16, 19, 17 on the 4th. Exactly the same thing on the 3rd string. So I go. Okay, then the last bit goes. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 17, 20, 17. And at the end of that, I want to play 19, 20 on the second, and then 17 of the first. So it'll go all together. And then I jump back to 19 of the second string. So all together it'll go. Now that last little chunk I'm doing is on 20 of the second string, and I do two quick groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that last little chunk goes. Let's try and put the whole section together nice and slow. Uh, part three, Kissing the Shadows. You guys now have all the solos, so enjoy it. I'll catch you real soon.